This was one of the most popular ROMs for the HTC One, and now it has made its way to the HTC One M8. Guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Android Revolution HD ROM for your HTC One M8. Let's get started. <laughs> When you first boot this ROM up on your One M8, you're not going to be seeing any crazy visual changes from what you would usually expect on HTC Sense 6. A lot of this stuff was done under the hood, and I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but you should be getting a faster experience with better battery life. And don't get me wrong, they also do include a lot of different tweaks that we will definitely look over in this video. Before we get to that, this ROM is running the latest version of Android KitKat, and this is version 5 of the ROM at the filming of this video. They also did a good job of removing all the bloatware that you would get on the AT&T and T-Mobile variants, giving you a faster and better battery life experience. Now finally moving on to the tweaks, we do have the Sense6 toolbox, which can be opened from the settings or the app drawer, and this is where we'll be getting all our customizability options for this ROM. Now there are a lot of them and we will quickly cover some of the main ones. If we look through this app we get a lot of different sections and we're going to start off with interface mods. Here we get the options to change our clock styles, change our brightness slider or add it to the notification panel. We get other options like AOSP recent apps which can be really useful and some other things like RAM usage which can give you more information about your device in a quicker fashion. Moving on to status bar icons, here we can go and basically customize any possible icon you would want to in the status bar. And as you can see, you get a lot of different options and basically every different app that would be there can be customized. Now moving on to sense mods, here we get a lot of sense launcher tweaks like changing the widgets, the folders, the app drawers, making them more transparent. And this can also be a really cool thing to play around with to really customize your launcher. After that, we do get other things like messaging mods, control mods, and various mods. These are not as useful, but you could definitely play around with these too. Now to get that toolbox to work, there is exposed installer in the app drawer. And there you have to go to framework and click OK. And then after that, you're going to click install update. And this is going to install the framework to allow you to actually activate the toolbox. So as you can see, we go to modules and then we just check the toolbox. And after that, everything should be good to go. After you set a tweak or whatever you want to set in that toolbox, all you have to do is go and go to the restart option, reboot the device. And after that, you'll be good to go. Now when installing this ROM, you do have the ability to use Aroma Installer. And there's only one ROM that you actually install on your device, and it should notice which device you have, either AT&T, T-Mobile, or International Model, and then you're going to select whichever one you have, and click Install. So as you can see, there it is, it says International Model, I have the AT&T Model, so I'm going to select that. And we could also choose some extra apps that they offer, like Twitter. And after that, we get to some tweaks that we could choose from. The only one that really interested me here was Exposed, so I chose that one, as that's always a fun setting to use. But you could choose from the other options if you are interested. We then get the option to choose which super user or super SU app we want to use. Then we could also enable the toolbox, and after that, all we're going to do is install the ROM. At the end of the day, Android Revolution HD basically leaves the tweaking up to you. It keeps everything very simple while giving you a better battery life, a faster experience, and overall, a much more stable experience. But they also do give you that app which lets you do any customizability that you want in that toolbox. At the end, this is still one of the best ROMs now for the One M8, and it definitely lives up to its name. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.